Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. So today we continue with rectifier for part 2. Okay, so previously we have learned about an uncontrolled halfway rectifier with R load or resistive load. Okay, here is the basic circuit of the R load or resistive load. Okay, but in industry, not only resistive or resistance, the industrial loads also contains an inductance as well as capacitance. Okay, so today we will continue with this RL and RC load. Okay, so for the RL load, this is the basic circuit of RL load where we have an AC source, a diode, and an inductor which is connected in series with the resistor. Okay, so by connecting this way, the ripple of the output current can be reduced to some extent. Okay, and then if the current flow like this, this is I, okay, so using KVL, we will get Vm equals to Ri plus L di over DT. Okay, now let's analyze how this circuit operates. Okay, so let's start with the positive half cycle first. So during the positive half cycle, what will happen to this diode? So as usual, the diode will be in forward bias, therefore it will act as a short circuit. Okay, so when the diode is short circuit, current can now flow through the load. Okay, so for the output voltage, the output voltage will be the same as the input during the positive half cycle. But for the output current due to the inductance load here, so the output current will increase slowly. Okay. So as you can see here, even the output voltage is already zero, the output current is still positive. Okay. And then during the negative half cycle, this inductor will start to release the stored energy. Okay, so the current begin to decrease now. So it will decrease. So same goes to the output voltage. There will be a negative portion here, which is supported by the inductor current. Okay, and then when there is no more energy left in the inductor, the output voltage and the output current will remain zero until the next cycle. Okay, so for the RL load rectifier, okay, there will be a negative portion here of the output voltage. Okay, so the larger the inductance, the larger the negative segment here. Okay, the amount of a ripple voltage can be further reduced using a Capacitor. Okay, so now a capacitor can be added here in parallel with the resistive load. Okay, so during the positive half cycle, as usual, the diode will be turned on. Okay, so current can flow here through the capacitor as well as through the resistive load. Okay, so during this cycle, this capacitor will be charged. Okay, so the capacitor will charge until Vm at its peak. Okay, and then at omega t equals to theta here, when the input supply is reducing, so the capacitor will start to discharging. Okay, so it will be discharging during this time. Okay. And this will force the diode to turn off. Alright, and then the process will repeat. Okay, so here is the output voltage ripple. So the amount of a voltage ripple here can be further reduced by using a larger capacitor 
value. So the function of a capacitor here is to reduce the variation in the output voltage, making it more like DC. To control the halfway rectifier, a SCR can be used instead of a diode. Okay? So before this, we have a diode for the uncontrolled halfway rectifier, right? So now we need to change this diode to the SCR or thyristor. Okay? So change this diode to SCR or thyristor. So the SCR has a gate terminal here. Okay? So here, change to SCR. So now we have a control halfway rectifier of our load and RL load. But for the SCR to turn on, there are two conditions that must be met. So first, the SCR must be in forward bias and then the gate current must be applied here. Okay? So once we apply a gate current, the SCR will turn on until the current goes to zero. Okay, let's say we have an input supply like this. So during the positive half cycle, unlike the diode, the LCR will not turn on until the gate current is applied. Okay, so the conduction is delayed here. Okay, until the gate current is applied. So only then we will get the output voltage of the R load rectifier here. Okay, so this is alpha where we inject the gate current or IG here. And then what about the RL load uh, rectifier? So for the RL load, just like uh, previous, so the conduction is delayed here okay, until we apply a gate current here. Okay, so once the gate current is applied, so SCR will turn on. Okay, so only then we will get the output voltage. So for the RL, we have a negative segment here, right? Okay, so this is the output of the control half-wave rectifier with R load and RL load.